Hello, lords and ladies. Welcome back to Cartoon Hangout, your place for all things cartoon. I'm four episodes into the Ben 10 reboot, and the jury's still out on whether this will be a good show. I've made my opinion known thrice now on the reboot episodes we've gotten so far, but we're still really early into a 50-plus episode season. It would be incredibly unfair to grade the entire season based on a handful of episodes. I can anticipate the comments, so once again, this is not me saying the show is bad, just that it's still too early for me to judge. With that said, I can at least give you my thoughts on the episode Freaky Ben Gwen. Let's get this out of the way. It's not a bad episode. It was a fun little episode with the return of one of my favorite Ben 10 baddies, Hex. It's just too bad he almost got the same treatment as Mojo in the Powerpuff Girls reboot. But then again, Hex seems to really get the short end of the stick in the Ben 10 series. From threat to joke. Not that he's a complete joke in this episode, he's actually a decent enough villain who gives both Gwen and Ben a difficult time. Kind of like his initial debut in the original series. And while we're on the topic of that, I kept hearing from you guys how this episode was borrowing heavily from the original episode that involved Hex. But other than it having Hex, there's not much else there. Sure, Ben seems to have met Hex before, but considering at no point have we gotten an origin episode, it's possible we just aren't graced with that meeting of the two. I'll admit it's a weird thing to do in a reboot, but it's whatever. The show probably won't even have much of any continuity at all, so it's probably not worth seeing. Now, I haven't brought this up since the sneak peek of the series, but this episode once again reminds me of how similar its design is to every other Cartoon Network show out there. The problem isn't with the art style specifically. It's a perfectly fine style for a cartoon. The real problem is just how much it looks like everything else out there. That sameness lacks the uniqueness any of the previous Ben 10 series had at the time. Yes, other eras of cartoons have had shows that look similar to each other, but that's not really an excuse. It's not like I'm letting those shows off of the hook. I just think a change of pace and style would do wonders. If every game, movie, or comic looked the same, that wouldn't be good, would it? So how come it's fine for Ben 10's reboot to look like half the shows out there? Other than that, there isn't much left to say about the episode. Ben and Gwen swap bodies and have to live in each other's shoes. It's not a wholly unique concept for making two characters understand each other more, but it's pulled off decently enough. It doesn't have the same spirit that the original continuity had when it did a similar thing, but given the short runtime, there's really no helping that. So yeah, not a bad episode really, just not as fun as the episode Water Filter was. What about you though? Did you enjoy the episode? Let me know. Thanks for watching, and take care.